welcome back to my channel. Long time no talk. Just know I was gone because I ended up getting sick again. This was my third time getting sick in the last three months. And I was like, girl, what the? It's a new week. It's a new year. Let's get today started with some skincare. I've been getting the most intense periods. I've been so hormonal and with that comes acne. So annoying, but you know what? Regardless, acne or not, we're gonna continue to stand on business. Always focus on hydration. I love to dampen my face with toner. You're gonna wanna lock in the moisture. I don't know if you guys are already taking care of your skin, which I hope you are, but in 2024, you really gotta take care of your skin, put on your sunscreen. guys the weather has been so nuts so anytime that the weather clears up i make sure to go outside and take a early walk and take my dog out before i go to the gym just because i want to make sure that he's taken care of before i dip i recently moved to this area and oh my gosh you guys i am absolutely in love with my neighborhood i love going outside i love enjoying the nature i just love it here and i love that i'm able to go on walks without being in front of a main road or anything like that it's super chill vibes here and i mean look at at this scenery like do you guys see this it is so cute and i am absolutely in love you guys the way i was about to get ready and not film it unacceptable of course you know i got my water and chia seeds in this cup i don't know what kind of sick girl bug i've been getting but the sick girl bug is back for my ass again. Let me go ahead and blend this out and I'll be right back. It's just so nuts, like 2024, who are we? You guys, I'm getting ready for my day, so I figured, you know what, let's get ready together. Welcome back to another vlog. In this vlog, we're gonna be doing a little bit of everything girl, gym, organizing, new year inspiration, goal talks. You guys know me, I'm all about bettering yourself, bettering your life, working on healthy habits, going to the gym, etc., etc., etc. And you can do that any day throughout the year. You can have a fresh start any day throughout the year, but the new year is always a time where people take advantage to work on themselves, realign their goals, etc., etc., etc. And you know what, girl? That's fine. As long as you are bettering yourself, as long as you are working towards your goals, as long as you are trying to elevate yourself, that's all that freaking matters. Throughout the year, you should always be trying to strive to better yourself and better your lifestyle. There's never a start date or an end date. It's always continuing and we're always evolving. Let's start to do my makeup girl because you know me, I be chatting. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer, essence bronzer. This has been my go-to makeup look, my everyday simple makeup. I am breaking out. So yeah, I'm wearing a little bit more concealer than what I normally do. It's still vibes. I don't know what it is about 2024, but to me, it seems so fresh. I'm really excited. The reason why I'm excited is because I moved near my hometown area last year. Settling into a place takes a hot minute, girl. It takes minimum a year of getting adjusted, getting your home in order and i just moved again into this house and point blank is i moved here and i have been getting settled and this is gonna be a home i stay in for quite some time so for me that just feels so good i'm not gonna be moving i'm just ready to chill and create content for you guys and get into a norm normal 
normalness. We all want things to work towards bettering ourselves. We all want to get into the gym. We all want to focus on our health, focus on our job grow financially, grow lifestyle-wise, grow in all areas. I know that we all want that for ourselves. I feel like why a lot of people lack in executing is because they don't genuinely believe that they can. So repeat after me, girl. You are going to believe in yourself this year. You are going to have your back. You are going to put yourself first, put your goals first, quit making excuses for yourself. You're gonna stop feeling sorry for yourself. You're gonna be productive, you're going to be happy, you're going to be healthy, you're going to be fit, whatever that means to you, to grow in all areas this year. You need to say that stuff to yourself. Genuinely from within, you need to believe that shit because if you don't even believe it, how is someone else gonna believe that for you? Create your goals, big or small. Really dissect the steps you have to take to get to where you wanna be. Then take action and try to take those steps. Be disciplined, be consistent with your self-discipline. And girl, I pinky swear, with time, patience, you will get there. Girl, one thing about me, I'ma put on some blush. Setting powder, just set to set under my eyes. My face has been breaking out and it's been so dry, so I don't really set my whole face. I just kind of set where I need it. I don't know if I want to do a thick brow today. Also, another thing, girl. Girl, you're not gonna care about what people think about what you're working towards or how you're working towards it. Because they don't know you. People are not going to understand. They're not going to understand. They're not going to get it. They are gonna be like, oh, I could never. Well, yeah, you, you could never because you don't have the mindset to get there. But guess what, girl? You do. You have the mindset to get there. You have the want to get there. So try to not let what people think about your goals or your aspirations get to you. Not everyone is gonna get it and you don't need everyone to get it. As long as you get it, as long as you believe in yourself, as long as you are doing what you love and you are working towards something you want, who gives a fuck? Do it, girl. Do it. This is your time. One bad week, one bad month does not define your year. You can still have a great year even if you did not start it off right. I am sending all of my positive vibes towards you guys. Grow mentally, you grow physically, you grow in all areas of your life. Let's get our goals in order. Let's get up, let's do it, let's execute, okay? Because I don't want to hear like, oh Daisy, I don't think I can do this, I don't think... Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Wake up. Wake up because you fucking can. Girl, I'm so sorry. My tits are coming out. You can get there. If I believe in you, you need to believe in you. No, pues hermana no empieces. Don't start with your shit. If I believe you can, why wouldn't you believe in yourself? Ponte las pinches pilas. Ponte las pinches pilas. Because you can fucking do it. And this is gonna be your fucking year. just made my green tea and I also made breakfast but I actually filmed my breakfast a different day I'm gonna go ahead and add that in here it's the breakfast I've been having non-stop it's been cold I like to start my morning with a nice warm drink now we're gonna go get ready for the gym I'm either thinking these Adidas, these Nikes, or my Asics. 
I don't know, what do you guys think? These are my most recent pickup. For pre-workout, I've been doing the Hardcore Oxy Shred L-Carnitine. So creatine, but I, I ran out and I really need to restock. Sometimes I also do the Oxy Shred Ultra Energy and I actually haven't done one of these in a minute. We're gonna go for one of these today. This flavor was my top on the Ghostbusters collab. <laughs> for me was just a year of trying to gain my weight back trying to get a great gym routine if you're having struggle building your fitness routine make sure to watch this video because this video kind of helps to break things down and help you get back into your fitness routine for 2024 girl with that being said since last year i was focusing so much on just trying to gain some weight back a lot of my focus this year is gonna go towards building my strength building muscle I started running last year, but because I was trying to gain weight, I wasn't running as much as I would have liked to. Once the weather gets nicer, I'm going to start running. So there's going to be some running, maybe some sprinting content. I loved running last year and it was the best. Again, with gaining weight, I also was focusing on building my strength last year. And I had so many PR goals that I ended up hitting. My hip thrust went up, my squat went up, deadlift went up, my RDLs went up, everything went up. And I am just so proud of myself because ultimately that was my goal for last year. So this year, all I'm gonna be doing is focusing on continuing to build my strength, build my physique, put on more lean muscle mass and explore a little bit outside of strength training and weight training. I have no issue with being consistent in the gym. Every now and then I do run through little burnouts here and there, but this year I am so excited to show you guys workout routines, workout videos, and just overall continue to help you guys motivate and inspire you guys to get into your fitness routine, start your fitness routine, etc. I want to help you guys with the information that I know that has helped me over the years. And yeah, Cheers to more gains in Just please ignore him. You guys, over the last year, I've been collecting so many visually appealing books, as well as obviously books I can read. I've been collecting with the purpose of looking over them as the months go by, to gather inspiration. I feel like with every new year that comes, I become a lot more confident. I become a lot more aware of what I love, what is genuinely true to me, what my interests are. And every year that goes by, I feel like I am creating and sculpting the life that I ultimately want to live and that is why the new year for me feels so refreshing and i'm just so motivated to freaking get shit on and popping girl some gardening books some arrangement books different type of interior design photo books as well as some art books and a majority of the books that i own are actually all thrifted my mom is a florist and one thing that i really want to get into this year is floral design creating my own personal arrangements for my home i just moved into this home i really want to personalize it get some great art really get some great pieces for my home i love interior design i cannot believe i have a backyard so there's so much that i really want to prep for 
for this spring so I can start gardening. A gardening book I'm gonna look through, outdoor inspiration. I also just have regular art books that I'm gonna look through. This is a Matisse. I'll put right here where I get most of my inspiration from. I love seeing different color combinations together. I recently have been so into color. Girls, specifically my primaries, I am just in red, blue, or yellow all the fucking time now. If you haven't been able to tell throughout this vlog, I love dressing up, experimenting with my outfits. I'm gonna look through some of my old photo books from the early 2000s, not just for clothes, but makeup, hair. Don't think you should be telling everybody your goals in specific detail because you never know who's watching. You never know who's a weirdo out there. I'll tell you guys some that like, are like kind of whatever type of goals. Shortening my videos and uploading weekly versus having like 30 to 40 minute vlogs every two to three weeks. I wanna show you guys more on a consistent basis, not necessarily being more organized, more so keeping up with the organization because I love to organize, but keeping up with being organized is where I lack, but I need to keep up with it. And then I have been loving just being at home, being in the kitchen. I love food and I wanna share more of that with you guys as well. I wanna spend more time in the kitchen this year, really enjoying cooking, baking. I don't know if it's just cause I'm turning senora vibes, but that's something that I really want to embrace this year as well. Gardening, again, I don't know if it's cause I'm senora vibes. I wanna show you guys gardening content on my YouTube if I get into it, which I hopefully will. I want to grow my own veggies, meet more people, I want to make more connections, I want to get into more hobbies. Obviously the gym is one of my hobbies, but I have so many interests. I want to start posting my fashion content again on Instagram and more of it on YouTube. Prioritizing family time, working towards bettering my self-discipline and bettering my consistency with everything in life. Trying to be on my phone less when I really don't need to be and saving phone time for like a later time when I have downtime. I need to get out of my head and just create because sometimes I have so many things running in my head. I'm like, I want to do this, I want to do that. And then I get so overwhelmed that I think about it too much and then I won't execute. I did feel like I was outdoors a lot last year, but I wanna be wanna be outside. And now I have a backyard, so now I have no excuse. If I'm gardening, I can be outside. I live in a green neighborhood now, so I can go on walks. Those are some of the casual things that I'm prioritizing this year. Um, obviously I have like financial goals, work, career goals. is good, hopefully. I'm barely under your boobs. <gasps> That's crazy. TBH. From afar. It's the, hey, Puma? Bottega bag. Gifted by Bottega. You can't even see. Lucky. If I can see it. Congested a little bit still. It's been warm during the cold winter months. Look at my Bottega bag. Gifted for Christmas. From who? From Johnny B. Contributing to the Bottega Baddie Club. Collection. Collection. You have your beanie in the back as well. that I ordered from Amazon. Also, ignore ignore my mess. I've been getting so many Christmas packages and there's just like boxes of shit everywhere. My shoes are everywhere. The thing is I might build this today. <sighs> I'm just gonna get to really organizing and cleaning the house today. Um, so there we go. This does not look as big as it did on Amazon. 
I'm gonna take this downstairs. I wish I was using my wider camera so you guys could get a better view, but this is the wall that's going to take up a majority of the rack. As you can see, we got a big ass pile of clothing. The rack is going to start here. <laughs> guys I'm done oh my gosh it looks so good and I think if I add a second one right there it's going to be perfect so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start bringing in clothes right now so I can get all of this clothes upstairs my gym clothes is going upstairs and my normal clothes is going downstairs hopefully these headbands don't make my head look weird this is the closet where I was keeping my normal clothes and wait till you see this how bad this is all of the clothes that was hanging I went to hang it downstairs but now I got to take care of some boxes I have a box there so I was hanging up all of my coats in here as you can see hung up a second rod that I ordered on Amazon tell me why it fell so this is one thing that i need to figure out I'm still trying to figure out if i want to get another one of these racks and put it right here, here is my desk slash vanity figure out a cute setup for the top as you can see right here I have my brushes already but it's pretty empty for the most part one thing i do want to say really quick is i do not expect to finish this room by the time this vlog is up whatsoever this room still needs so much work i just kind of want to show you guys where i'm at with this room and my gym clothes closet upstairs just find better ways to get organized so i can keep up with my organization period guys the laundry is never ending it's never ending it's always <laughs> i'm always doing fucking laundry dude honestly i'm kind of glad that it's been raining and super gloomy because it just forces me to get tasks around the house done so anyways like i was saying if it was not raining i would want to be out and about in the gym <sighs> la tienda i have been procrastinating on doing laundry for I think about a week and a half now and if you go to the gym you know how quick the laundry stacks up okay I'm like out of detergent oh my god I need to go to Costco So I'm going to get some stuff to make a sandwich and then I also am stocking up for the week. Christmas wearing my Ricks and some sweats. We're all very cozy vibes. Tof is also on his cozy vibes as well. 
go take my car to get serviced because girl it's like 15 days overdue these are so cute no cuz more sustainable shopping in 2024 you guys already know me I don't know about you guys, but the holidays drained me. It's not even New Year's yet, and I'm already like, I can't sleep because I have a headache and I'm really sore. My workout two days ago, so I think I'm going to treat myself a warm bath. Tomorrow is New Year's, and I don't want to be tired. <laughs> I'm super glad I did this because I am already feeling way better and I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes. I'm sweating. I know y'all can fuck around. Come fuck me, you know I got it. Thirty on my waist. I have it on super wide. I want the Jamaica. I really wanted agua de horchata, but they didn't have any. Dress over the summer and when I saw it I was like this would be perfect for New Year's because of the stars. I thrifted this leather jacket in LA. I really like this dress because it's an asymmetrical dress. This was the New Year's fit. I also wore these cute vintage heels. <music> 